Okay, another short update, and uh, I'm working on the canopy. Today, I added three layers of bi-directional to the turtle deck canopy uh, border right here, and then I added one layer of unidirectional that wraps around the bottom of the uh, canopy right there. All that's per plans. Uh, I went I went ahead and peel plied everything and so as you can see I'm actually pretty pleased with the way the canopy meets the turtle deck and I'll uh, try to get you a close up of it so that should pr be pretty easy to fare The top actually fit perfect. I mean, it's like you can't get any better. But on the sides here, there was a little bit of flare on the side of the canopy here. Not sure why, because I had it, uh, I had it down as tight as I could. Maybe I didn't have enough clearance here on my turtle deck. But anyway, what I did do was I kind of sanded the very corner of the canopy right here, and just to help fare that in. Um, so you can you can just barely you can barely tell it so we'll see all right so that's the uh, latest update on the canopy and uh, see you guys later we keep building away okay guys working on installing the foam for the canopy frame uh, that's kind of a monotonous work but it's not that bad uh, I'm cutting it like plan says about two inches wide and then uh, marking it okay first thing I do is take my two inch block that I've cut and I place next to the uh, canopy take this little straight edge and pretty much approximate the angle that it will need to sit against the uh, plexiglass here I'll just sight down that, then I'll make a first mark right here. Alright, I'll take my, I'll take my uh, straight edge, make a mark like this. And then I take my straight edge and I make a mark that's parallel with the bottom like this. Okay, so basically here's what we have, line on top, line for the angle of the canopy, and then a line for the bottom of the canopy. First thing I cut is this uh, line right here, the angle uh, that matches the, the canopy. It's a little harder on this front side because uh, you're dealing with a pretty complex curves here. Straighten up the bandsaw. Make this cut. Make this, make this cut right here. Then I have to take my coping saw and connect this line with the other line. So that you end up with that and that's usually pretty close let's take it over here and look and see how this see how this fits mm. 
Okay. I'm going to need a little bit of trimming, but for the most part, that looks pretty good. That's what it looks like from the front. Like that. So it looks like I need to go a little bit deeper here. All right, I'll make some. Uh, I'll make some additional cuts on the bandsaw, and uh, then we'll re then we'll readjust it. Okay, so uh, I used my coping saw, and I just made a little bit more trimming inside these cuts. You can see it's pretty. Uh, acute angle so I couldn't do that on my bandsaw but at least I got the bandsaw to get a gross cut for me uh, and then I just used my coping saw to make it a little more accurate that's what we have here yeah that's nice and tight now the uh, the foam on the posterior aspect or the back of the uh, of the canopy it's a whole lot easier because you're just dealing with straight cuts but right here you're dealing with this compound curve right here so it makes it a little harder but uh, at least you kind of see what I've done so anyway I'm working on that today it takes a little while but uh, keep trucking along All right, this is the last piece going in. All right, nice and firm. And then, uh, so now, I've got to work on, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and put the foam in for the canard fairing. And I'll send all that at one time. Oh. All right. Let's get to work on the canard fairing, which is this part right here. So to start with the canard fairing, uh, I just used my hot wire and made some templates and cut out the top contour of the canard onto the bottom of the fairing and set it on there had to have another little piece right here so I'm about to I'm about to uh, flock that down onto the canard once that dries then we actually start uh, sanding and fairing this thing out make it look nice so all I'm about to do now is just uh, attach this to the top of the canard with um, some micro Okay guys, we're starting to shape it and I'm just using a uh, saw to get the rough stuff done and then I'll, uh, I'll start using my sanding board. So I'm just going to keep shaping um, using this little saw and then I'll once I get it fairly close then I'll start using my, uh, my block sander. Alright, so now we have the uh, 3M sanding board 
This thing's worth its weight in gold, by the way. Just uh, sanding, keep it in mind. You know, your F28 right here. I'm going to stay about a 16th cents above that. kind of what we have so far still have some problem areas I got to work on some little stuff like right in here uh, the fairing right in here the edges still got to work on that a little bit but for the most part I've got it pretty well blocked down to the uh, shape uh, I'm still not sure about this back here I'm not sure how big this is supposed to be it says uh, extend it for about three inches but I don't know I think I need to make this a lot smaller we'll see I'll look tonight anyway the uh, contour airplane starting to take shape <clears throat> it's kind of exciting actually doing something that uh, helps the plane actually take form <laughs> as opposed to building parts okay and uh, we have contoured this actually went a little faster than I thought it only took me a few hours to do that um, so I'm almost ready to start glassing now I'm going with a forward hinge canopy so um, what I'm going to do is I, I, I've uh, sanded a little joggle right here so that when, when I lay up the the canopy frame the, the fiberglass will come to right here to the inside of here and so that will seal this this part right here uh, so anyway it turned out pretty good so at least you can kind of see the contours of the airplane now looks pretty sleek to me so Everything's good and symmetrical. So, all right. So, I'm just gonna uh, get everything ready to start fiberglassing. Now, remember, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use carbon fiber. I'm gonna use um, two layers of carbon fiber in this, in addition to what the plans call for just because the forward hinge canopy it has to open all the way from here all the way to our cut line in the back back there so I want this part to be really strong so uh, I do need to do a little sanding right here before I glass this and uh, I just fill this in with some micro just to make it nice and smooth but uh, I'll need to do a little sanding there before I uh, fiberglass that there will be a, uh, a layer of fiberglass that's going to come down and it will actually sit over this it'll lap over this and should be flush with this after I get it all sanded just right and um, that will actually hold this panel in that'll it slides up under here so a little bit more finished work and then we'll be ready to fiberglass it